India has successfully launched its second mission to the moon. It'll join a handful of countries to have made a soft landing on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan 2 is scheduled to arrive at the moon late next month. Nihapunya reports. It's a proud moment for India, one that was 10 years in the making, a decade since it launched its first moon mission, the mission that helped confirm the presence of frozen ice on the moon's surface. It's attempted something even bigger. Chandrayaan-2, or its second moon vehicle, lifted off from India's eastern coast at 2.43 p.m. India time on Monday. The launch had been delayed by a week because of a technical snag. A pressure leak in the launch vehicle led to India pushing that lift off by seven days. Now that that takeoff was a success, the true test for this mission begins. The mission will orbit the Earth's surface for 16 days and then attempt to reach the Moon's orbit, where it will uh, be in the Moon's orbit for 27 days. The entire mission will last 58 days, with a landing scheduled for the 7th of September. This is India's big test. Can it really execute a soft or controlled landing on the Moon's surface? A complicated maneuver that will take 15 minutes, but India's aim will be to ensure that its mission doesn't crash. If successful, it will also make history by having landed on the southern pole of the moon, an untouched, unexplored area. Here, the mission will operate for 14 Earth days or one lunar day and conduct experiments to determine in what quantity is water ice found on the moon's surface, how usable it is and whether or not it can be used for future crewed missions on the moon, perhaps colonization of the lunar surface as well. This mission's USP is how cost-effective it is. Chandrayaan-2 cost only about $150 million. That's one tenth of the cost of NASA's moon mission. But this is not the limit for ISRO. It's now aiming to send astronauts into space by 2022 and set up its own space station in the next decade. Neha Punia, SABC News, New Delhi.